Wink and I stop paying premiums. My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. And we are the founders of Wealth Nation. If you like our content, make sure you like our page. And also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes. With this question that we get, uh, we want to make sure that you understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. So to answer the question, when can I stop paying the premiums? How we design our policies, the premium essentially becomes self-sufficient between the fourth and fifth year. Mm -hmm. So you can stop paying premiums around that time. Mm -hmm. However, what we want you all to think about is we are taking this policy and turning it into your banking banking system, mm -hmm. so to speak. So when you think about it, the more that you continue to fund it, that's more money that you have available year after year. So if you stop paying your premiums, that doesn't necessarily wreck the system. It's just your cash value doesn't grow as aggressively as uh, one should. So um, you do have the opportunity to stop paying your premiums. Yes, you mm -hmm. do. You have that flexibility. But why would you if you knew that you could continue to have a cash flowing system? Mm -hmm. And uh, just to add to it, we're trying to help you replace the banking function in your life. So if you stop paying your premiums and allow the cash value to pay the premiums, then again, you're reducing the amount of money that you can use in your banking system. Good point. Now, what we're trying to, what we want to accomplish for you is a long-term play. Mm -hmm. And long-term is retirement. Mm -hmm. Some of the biggest issues that we face when we retire, when, when we retire is uh, not saving enough, uh, maybe we lost money in the market and taxes. Mm -hmm. And what infinite banking does is it allows you to uh, put your money in a safe place whole life insurance policy, which allows you to uh, take advantage of all those things. Yeah. So when you are able to retire, if you're being your own banker, what will happen is you'll stop paying your premiums at the time of retirement and you'll just take your, uh, borrow your income uh, from your insurance policies and pay no taxes on it. Exactly. And think about it this way. If you go to the bank and you put deposits into the bank, you never want to stop making deposits, right? right. <laughs> because that's just more money for you to access. Mm -hmm. So think of your life insurance policy as the same exact vehicle. So um, we actually tell people to call their premiums deposits because that changes your way of thinking as far mm -hmm. as um, you not thinking of it as an obligation anymore. Mm -hmm. Because when you hear the word premium, you're typically thinking, oh, this outstanding obligation that I have to pay. Who wants to pay? a premium so now we call it deposits because every time you put deposit into your premium or into your policy which is the premium mm -hmm. um, you have cash value available yeah and uh, one thing when it comes to stop paying premium just always remember that we're front-loading the policy so that it has maximum cash value mm -hmm. so we do that in the first four to five years mm -hmm. after that your cash value or your uh, rider comes off mm -hmm. and that reduces your a premium payment by 60%. Very good point. So what Darius is referring to is the paid up additions rider mm -hmm. that we add to your whole life insurance policy, which allows it to have that maximum cash value growth. And we actually only need it on for about four to five years, depending on the individual. Right. So that rider comes off and your premium gets significantly cheaper. Mm -hmm. So say for example, a $10,000 annual premium is ten thousand dollars for four years mm -hmm. and then your five and on for the life of the policy is four thousand dollars exactly so that's a significant decrease in premium and your cash value is still growing so by the fourth or fifth year we design the, the uh, policies in such a way where your cash value is greater than the actual premium by year four or five depending on the individual right so yes, at the end of the day, you can stop paying your premiums, just so you know. Um, but in order to maximize your infinite banking potential, mm -hmm. uh, you may not want to. Thank you very much for watching our video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. Remember, own your own lifestyle or someone else will. <laughs>